Hey guys, Nubi here and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial for the first things you need to do when your Game Pro initially arrives. So the first thing you want to do, grab your box cutter and carefully open your box and then you need to remove the bubble wrap. So this is a pre-assembled unit, I'll do a separate series of videos for the kit sets. But this basically comes already built and calibrated and this little plastic bag here with three parts so there's these two little black L parts and this clear piece this clear piece is a bit that holds the circle pad and you'll need that for ultra sun and ultra moon and then these two black parts are the new LNR trigger holders which I'll show you shortly how to use those so the next step is to get our PC and now plug this blue cord into your USB port you don't need to worry so much about the uh, webcam at this stage. And with that done, you can take your 3DS console, whichever type it is, lift up the light sensor and slide it into place. Now, one thing to be aware of, if you have a servo mount um, that suits the original 3DS version, so either the XL or the uh, original size, standard size 3DS. They have these parts here that press the start and select buttons and you actually find you need to lift that up slightly as you slide in your 3DS console. All right, with that in place, we're gonna take these two black pieces. So these just slide in at the back here hold down the LNR triggers like so. So I'll just show you quickly, this has got two slopes for the XL versions, they fit better if you slide them in that way, whereas on the uh, standard size 3DS versions they go in that way and go a little bit further in. Okay, so on your PC, the first thing you want to do if you haven't already done so is download this Arduino software. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. There's also a link on the GamePro website. And also, for the pre-assembled units, you would have received a sketch. I would have sent an email with uh, the calibration sketch for your device. So you want to open that up in here. And if you're doing this for the first time, you want to go to Tools board and make sure it's set to Arduino Nano and then um, you'll also need to select the correct port from tools um, which is it's normally the last one that shows up on this list if you're not sure which one it is just unplug your device and it's the one that disappears and then uh, replug it back in and you'll be able to tell which port you need to be set on so what we want to do here is just make sure that all the calibration is working fine now the calibration has already been uploaded to your game pro so what you want to do first of all is go up to this serial monitor, click on that and this window will show up. And then we want to test some of the buttons. So I'm just going to enter the letter X and that should open up the menu. Press it again and it should close it. Yes, that's working fine. Okay, now I'm going to try entering the letter B and that should cancel that menu. So X and B, they're both working fine. If I press letter Y, that should um, press the Y button on your console and likewise if I press the letter A, that should press A on the console. So those all look like they're working fine. So I'll just exit out of that menu. Alright, now I'm just going to test the left, right, up and down buttons. So if you uh, send the letter 4 down the serial port, it should walk to the left, press 0 and it will stop. Press the letter 6 and it will walk to the right, 0 and it will stop. Likewise if we um, use the letter 8, it will go up, 2, it will go down. So that one has a little bit of a buzz when it goes down, 
So that's one I could maybe look at tweaking slightly on the calibration. If any of your calibration values aren't working the way that you want them to, um, I'll leave the calibration video linked down in the description here and you can follow that to work out what values you need to change. But overall that looks like it's working pretty well. The only other thing I want to test is if I send the letter capital S, it should soft reset. And again that relies on having those L and R triggers at the back. There we go, so that's done exactly what it should do. Okay, so we now know that the calibration is working fine on this device and we can move on and get ready to start running some software. So once you've confirmed that the calibration is all working fine, one thing that you might want to do is just make sure that this light sensor is sitting flat on the screen. If it's not, you can just sort of bend the wires a little bit, make sure that it's going to sit nice and flat on that screen. And then also with these um, L and R holders, when they're not in use, you can just sit them into these little slots on here and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm on the main GamePro website. Again, I'll leave that link down below. But uh, here is the software section that I'm in and you can see we've got a link for downloading Arduino. I mentioned at the start that that was on here. But the main thing you're interested in here is all the GamePro software is available via the website. Um, it's all basically just in a Dropbox. I'll also leave a link uh, to that in the, the description of this video so you don't have to navigate to the website if you don't want to. But basically everything that you're looking for will be in these GamePro programs, this folder here. So we open that up. And this also has all the uh, source code. So if you want to edit any of the programs you can do that. Um, or otherwise you can navigate to software that you want. I've generally sort of split it out into the different uh, generations. So let's say if we want to go into generation 7, sun and moon, and I've put separate folders for most of the software, so if we're interested in say running the um, ultra sun, ultra moon, uh, shiny legendary software, we can navigate into that. And most of these, if not all of them, have these readme files, so you can uh, download that um, and take a look at that and that gives you basically some brief instructions on how to run the software. Uh, this isn't available for all of them yet but I'm sort of working my way through updating them and some of the others actually have video tutorials on YouTube as well which I'm trying to do more of too. Um, and you'll see in here there's actually there's a couple of different versions of this software but basically anything with the .exe uh, extension, those are the ones that actually run the programs. These .cpp, those are the source files if you want to edit the code, if not just leave those alone. Um, and then I normally have just an archive folder which is for older versions of the software which are, um, I've up, since updated but I've, uh, I've left them there available anyway. So we're going to run the most recent version which is this 6.1 exe, so I'll just download that. Now again you could just go through and download all of the software and chuck it on your computer and just run everything from there. And so I'll just open that to run it. Okay, and from that point we're away, we just follow the instructions on that uh, readme text and also the prompts on the screen. And there we go, the software is away running. So at this point you're pretty much uh, ready to go, but if for whatever reason you've had any trouble along the way or if you've got any questions about the software or anything else, um, don't hesitate to contact me directly either via Facebook or you can send me an email um, or just put a public post on the Facebook page. There may even be someone else who's had a similar problem um, and might be able to have, have an answer to you before I can. But hopefully that helps. Um, as I said, don't hesitate to get in touch if you've got any questions. But until next time, see ya.